By the 1940s, Jim Crow had been ingrained in Washington life for decades. But as civil rights activists pushed for change, they made a surprising discovery. When it came to DC's restaurants, segregation had been illegal for over 70 years, and hardly anybody knew it. Way back in the 1870s, the DC government had passed two laws that made it a crime for restaurants to refuse service based on race. As Jim Crow tightened its grip, the laws were omitted from the city code and faded from memory. But they were never actually repealed. And when researchers uncovered the old statutes in the 40s, legal scholars thought they might still be enforceable. 86-year-old civil rights veteran Mary Church Terrell was determined to push the issue. On January 27, 1950, she and three friends walked into Thompson's Cafeteria on 14th Street Northwest for lunch. The Chicago-based chain had a strict whites-only policy, and the group was turned away. They promptly visited the district's legal office and asked the city to prosecute Thompson's for violating the old laws. Chief Counsel Vernon West hesitated, but when Terrell paid a second visit to Thompson's a few weeks later, he agreed. But once the case went to court, Judge Frank Myers ruled that the so-called lost laws were no longer in effect. The Acts of 1872 and 1873, although not directly repealed, have both been repealed by implication, he said. Undeterred, Terrell and her biracial coordinating committee ramped up pressure on DC restaurants to integrate. Meanwhile, the district appealed Myers' ruling. The case volleyed back and forth in the courts for three years, but on June 8, 1953, the U.S. Supreme Court finally settled the matter, unanimously. The lost laws were still valid, and segregation in D.C. restaurants was not. The Afro-American newspaper rejoiced with an all-caps headline, EAT ANYWHERE. Terrell celebrated with lunch at Thompson's, and made it clear that the fight against discrimination would go on. We will continue our efforts as long as necessary, she said. We will not permit these laws to become lost again. For more DC area history, check out our Boundary Stones playlist and subscribe to WETA PBS on YouTube.